What is up, people? It's Pikachu's cousin here, bringing you another NU Wi-Fi battle against Arcanine 9 from the Smog on Wi-Fi battle. I believe he has a channel. If I, if he does, I'll put it in the description. Anyway, from his team, you know, I can see that Stealth Rocks is gonna be good. So yeah, let's just get into it. I lead off with my Rupert, my camera up, as he goes for his Gothitelle. I think that's how you say it. I believe so. Anyway, he goes and sets up the Calm Mind, gets, starts setting up right off the bat as I go for my Stealth Rocks. And he goes for the Substitute as I go for the Roar to just hopefully bring out his Charizard. And that is what I bring out, actually. And he just gets destroyed from those Rocks, which is always good for me, at least. And I gotta say, in this match, man, I I got so much hacks. Like he, I honestly think that Arcanine should have beat me here, but I he just got hacked out. Like the hacks gods were on my dick. But anyway, I am rambling. So he goes back out into his Gothitelle and frisks my Evilite while I go and set up the Toxic Spikes, cause those are always nice. Gotta love the Toxic Spikes. And I'm going to switch out because I don't want to take any type of psychic move. So I go into my Duramaka, my Oolong. As he sets up a substitute, predicts my switch. And I go for... Uh, he goes for the psychic. And I know I can take at least three of those because I got some special defense. And I go for the flame blitz. And it flare blitz. And it misses because of the hustle as he goes for the psychic and hits me again and now my oolong is basically useless but I can get rid of his sub with one u-turn because this this guy just hits so hard for such a little guy and it helps that it's super effective so I go into my pincer to hopefully hit him with a stab x scissor and I know that Charizard is going to be coming in here but I don't care because he's going to get hit by the stones again. That will bring him down to like 10 HP. I have no idea. But I know I can still kill him with a not very effective x scissor, So it's fine. Fine by me. And he sends out his Armaldo. And I, I know i got to get rid of this guy as soon as I can. Because he carries a rapid spin. And that's just going to be a thorn in my side. And basically through this whole match. I've just been switching back and forth through all my pokes just to get my pincer out and hit him with the appropriate choice banded move and yeah that's basically what happens throughout the whole match anyway and he, I don't know why I went out into camera up here because he's not physically defensive and he just gets destroyed by that rock slide but oh well I guess I can't set up any more rocks so I'm just gonna go back into my pincer break that mold right in half with a karate chop and then hit him with an earthquake and almost takes him out and he can get up a free rapid spin here just before he dies so now yeah I hit him with another earthquake to finally finish off that Armaldo if that's how you say it. I think that's how you say it and he sends out his mill tank here and this mill tank, I am so sorry. I mean, it got hacks the crap out of. I believe it got hit with two crits. Well, it had one curse up. I mean, if mill tank sets up one curse, he's good enough to destroy. Anyway, I'm just gonna hit him with a leaf blade, and I believe this is where I get my first crit on it, which does just over half. That just goes to show how defense defensively bulky he is and he gets the parahax on the body slam but that's okay because I just got a crit you know it kind of evens out somewhat and we're just restoring up with the leftovers and I'm gonna switch out in my tentacle I don't know why I went in I guess just to set up toxic spikes as much as I could really but uh, strangely enough I go for a knockoff I, I have no idea why I went for the knockoff. I, just to get rid of the pesky leftovers because he's already healed enough from the milk drink. And he hits me with another body slam. And that almost takes me out. 
and I set up another layer of toxic spikes. Or was that my first layer? I'm not. I believe that was my first layer. At, but besides the point, he takes me out with a body slam, and I go into my pincer. Oh, sorry. Excuse me. Karate chop that mold in half and hit him right with a close combat, right all over. Punch him in the udders. Melk is squirting everywhere because it was the second critical hit. I just hacks the crap out of that mill tank. I I feel bad for that, but you know what can you do? It's part of the game. Anyway, he goes into his gothitella and gets poisoned by the poison spikes, and now he can see that I'm choice banded, although he probably already knew because doing a lot of damage here so I just go into my Duramaka to sack it with this obvious incoming psychic so I can switch back out into my pincer I believe and hit it with a super effective X scissor yeah that's what we're gonna do here break that mold just breaking molds all the time and I hit him with the X scissor and it takes him out. It would have been weird if it didn't, because I'm pretty sure they're not very uh, physically defensive. But anyway, he goes into the Cumbuskin. I hate these things. They they are so annoying. So I go out into my Raichu here, as he predicts a switch and sets up the sword stance. And that's plus two attack, and then plus one speed because of his speed boost ability that is a an annoying ability but what can you do and then along with the protect so we can get plus two speed as I go for the encore but that's that was just useless I don't know what I was doing there and he's just his speed is just racking up and racking up and he goes for the sky uppercut and misses just another bit of hacks but that's what happens when you run low accuracy moves and I hit him with a thunderbolt and it almost takes him out and I believe he dies to the poison. So there goes his Cumbuskin. And his final Pokemon is Leafeon and that is not good for him because my Raichu does carry the hidden power ice so I believe that is good game. <clears throat> oh no, one more hit. One more hidden power. As he sets up a sword stance, just kill in time because he knows it's over. And yeah, that'll be a good game. Um, Arcanine, I'm I'm sorry about all the hacks. And yeah, peace out.